Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello everyone, welcome to First PUC Statistics Online Classes. In the previous class, we had discussed about problems on corrected mean. In this class, we are going to discuss properties of arithmetic mean. Let's start. See the first property that is the algebraic sum of deviations of a given set of observations taken from their mean is 0. See the algebraic sum of observations, sum of deviations. See here sum is denoted by summation or sigma. So, this sum is denoted by sigma and deviation is nothing but that is difference of a given set of observations. See set of observation is denoted by x, set of observation is denoted by x taken from their mean, mean is denoted by x bar is 0, 0 is 0 only. So, here the first property is the algebraic sum of the deviations of a given set of observation taken from their mean is 0. So, this is the first property of arithmetic mean. So, here first property of arithmetic mean is sum of x minus x bar is equal to 0. So, this is the first property. So, that is here the first property is x sum of x minus x bar is equal to 0. Okay, let me prove this. That is, see first I will take x observation. What is x? x in the sense that is set of observations. So, here I will take for example, I will take set of observations are like this. That is 1, 5, 4. Okay, next I will take 1, 5, 2, 4 and 3. See, this is one set of observations. So, based on this property, we need to find x bar. So, these are x observations. Next, we need to find x bar. So, here x bar, how to calculate x bar? x bar is nothing but arithmetic mean. So, here arithmetic mean formula is summation x divided by small letter n. So, what is summation x? Summation x is sum of the observations. So, here sum of the observations are like this. That is, we need to find total of this x observation. Then we get sum of the observations. That is, 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus 4 plus 3. So, here sum of x is, that is 15. So, here we got sum of x is 15. So, this is equal to in the place of summation x, I will substitute 15. So, divided by what is small letter n. So, here small letter n is that is number of observations. So, here the given number of observations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, here small letter n is 5. So, in the place of small letter n, I will substitute 5. So, here 15 divided by 5 is 3. So, here we got x bar is 3. Okay. Now, I will uh, find sum of x minus x bar. So, to find sum of x minus x bar, we need one more column that is x minus x bar. So, after that sum in the sense what that is total of this observation, total of x minus x bar observation, isn't it? See here 15 is sum of x in the sense what? So, here sum of these x observations. So, that is summation x. So, to find summation of x minus x bar, we need to find x minus x bar. See here, x bar is 3 that we already calculated. So, here what is x? x is 1. So, 1 minus 3 that is minus 2. Next, 5 minus 3 that is 2. Then, 2 minus 3 that is minus 1. Then, 4 minus 3 that is 1. Then, 3 minus 3 is 0. So, now sum of x minus x bar is that is minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Then 0 minus 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Then 0 plus 0 is 0. So, hence the proof. Okay. So, now we, so here first property is satisfied. So, the first property of arithmetic mean is summation x minus x bar is equal to 0. 
Okay, next let us see the second property. So, here second property is that is minimal property of mean this. So, second property is minimal property of mean. So, that is the sum of the square of the deviations from their arithmetic mean is least. So, sum of square sum we know that sigma square in the sense that is power is 2 then deviation is difference then from their arithmetic mean in the sense that is x bar is least. So, here second property that is minimal property of mean is the summation sum of the square of the deviation of a set of given observation that is x from their arithmetic mean that is x bar is least. So, this is the second property of arithmetic mean. This property is minimal arithmetic, minimal property of arithmetic mean. Okay. Let us see the second property that is, yeah, I will write here the second property is summation x minus x bar is least. So, see here we got x minus x bar in the first property. So, here second property is x minus x bar to the power 2 is square. So, here summation x minus x bar to the power 2 is least or square is least. You see here we got x minus x bar. Next column is x minus x bar whole square. So, see how to uh, see here we got x minus x bar. So, here we need to the power 2. So, here minus 2 power 2 in the sense that is 4, then to the power 2 in the sense 4, then minus 1 to the power 2 in the sense minus 1 into 1. So, here minus to the power 2 in the sense that is minus 2 into minus 2 that is 4 only, then yeah to the power 2 in the sense that is 2 into 2 that is 4, here minus 1 to the power 2 in the sense that is minus 1 into minus 1, see minus 1 minus minus into minus is plus 1 into 1 is 1. So, here it is 1 then 4 here it is 1. So, 1 to the power 2 in the sense 1 only 0 to the power 1 in the sense that is uh, sorry 0 to the power 2 in the sense that is 0 only. Okay, now, see here this sum of the observation is sum of x minus x bar is that is yeah, 4 plus 4 is 8, 9, 10. So, here sum of x minus x bar is 10. Okay, see instead of this x bar, if I substitute any assumed mean, assumed value of this set of observation, we will get greater value of this 10. Okay, let us check. Here x bar is 3, correct no? We got x bar is 3. Okay, now I will take assumed value that is, so x minus inst instead of x bar here 3, instead of this 3 I will take 1. So x minus 1, so here x is 1, minus 1 that is 0, 0 the power 0 is 2 in the sense that is 0 only. Next here x value is 5. So, here minus 1 that is 4, 4 to the power 2 in the sense that is 16. Next here x value is 2, 2 minus 1 in the sense that is 1, 1 to the power 2 in the sense that is 1. Then 4 here x value is 4 minus 1 that is 3, 3 square is 9. Then here it is 3, 3 minus 1 in the sense that is 2, 2 to the power square, 2 square in the sense that is 4. So, here we got sum of x minus 1 to the power square is that is 16 plus 4 is 20, 29 sorry no, 20, 29 plus 1 that is 30. See here we got sum of x minus 1 to the power is 30. So, here the value is least as compared to these two. So, here the value is least because here we substitute mean of this the mean of this set of observations. So, here we got least value like that. So, here instead of 1 I will substitute another assumed value that is 5. So, x minus 5 whole square. So, see 
1 minus 5. So, one, x here the first x value is 1. So, 1 minus 5 in the sense that is 4 minus 4. So, minus 4 square is 16. So, here square is there no minus 4 square is 16. Next here x value is 5. So, 5 minus 5 that is 0, 0 square is 0 only. Next 2 x, x value is 2, 2 minus 5 that is minus 3, minus th 3 square is 9. Next year it is 4, 4 minus 5 in the sense that is, yeah, 4 minus 5 in the sense that is minus 1, minus 1 square is 1 only. Next year it is x value is 3, 3 minus 5 is minus 2, minus 2 square is 4. So, here we got sum of x minus 5 square is that is 16 plus 9 plus 1 plus 4. So, here we al here also we got 30. So, like that we can okay, next I will take assumed value is x minus 3 whole square. See here the first x value is 1. So, 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 minus 2 square is that is 4. Next here x value is 5. So, 5 minus 3 is 2 to the square is 4. Next here it is 2. 2 minus 3 is 1. 1 square is 1. Next x value is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 the square is 1 only. Next value is 3. 3 square we got so, I am sorry here 3 is arithmetic mean no. So, we will get same value because here x bar also 3. So, no need to substitute here 3. So, you okay. So, I am sorry here we uh, so here we got x bar is 3 right. Therefore, we will get same value because here x bar also 3 only. Okay, next uh, I will take x minus 1 is over 5 is over. So, 1 is over, 5 is over, 3 is over. Next, I will take 2. So, that is x minus 2 square. See, 1 minus 2 in the sense that is 1. 1 square is 1. 5 minus 3 is my 3. So, 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 square is 9. Next, 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 square is 0 only. 4 minus 2 is that is 2. 2 square is 4. 3 minus 2 is 1. Yeah, 1 square is 1 only. So, here we got sum of x minus 2 square is that is 10, 15. So, next I will take the next value is this one. Remaining value x observation is 4. So, that is x minus 4 to the power square. See here it is. So, here first x value is 1. 1 minus 4 is 3 minus 3 minus 3 square is 9 next 5 minus 4 is 1 1 1 square is 1 only 2 minus 4 is minus 2 minus 2 square is 4 next 4 minus 4 is 0 so 0 square is 0 only next 3 minus 4 is minus 1 minus 1 square is 1 only so here sum of x minus 4 to the power square is that is 9 1 is 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 4 is 14 plus 1 is 15 so here we got summation x minus 4 is equal to 15 see here so here we substitute in the first column we substitute that is x bar only here x bar is 3 so here we got 10 so next so here it is another set value assumed value of x observation this is another value of x observation. This is another assumed value of x observation. And this is one more assumed value of x observation. But as comparing these sum of x minus x bar observation. See here we got 10. Here we got 30. Here we got 30. And here we got 15. And here we got 15. But as comparing the all the values. Here we got so, the sum of x minus x bar observation is least. That is minimal property of arithmetic mean. So, what is minimal property of arithmetic mean? That is the sum of square of deviations from their arithmetic mean is least. So, here this value is 
so here in the place of x bar we have substitute 3 so this is their arithmetic mean of yeah their arithmetic mean so so that here we got minimal property of arithmetic mean this is minimal property of arithmetic mean why because here sum of square of deviation of their arithmetic mean got least value so this is second property of arithmetic mean let us see the third arithmetic of uh, property of arithmetic mean that is combined arithmetic mean so here combined arithmetic mean in the sense if we know the uh, uh, sizes and means of two set of series then we can apply this up uh, then we can find combined arithmetic mean of that series so to calculate combined arithmetic mean the formula is x bar c is equal to x n1 x bar 1 plus n2 x bar 2 divided by n1 plus n2 see here x bar c in the sense that is combined arithmetic mean so c is combined so x bar is arithmetic mean so x bar c in the sense combined arithmetic mean here n1 and n2 in the sense that is number of observe number of observations of first and second series so here x bar 1 and x bar 2 in the sense that is mean of yeah mean mean of the observation of first and second series so this is the formula to calculate combined arithmetic mean so here the formula is x bar c is equal to n1 into x bar 1 plus n2 into x bar 2 divided by n1 plus n2 okay this is all about properties of arithmetic mean thank you for watching this video don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates